Welcome to the Clever Podcast, and just like that, the first round of the UAP Season 86 Men's Basketball Season is done. So the South finished with a 4 and 3 slate. We're currently 4th in the standings. Is that good? Is that bad? That's what we're here to discuss in our first round review in the Quiver. All right. So I'm Kiko. Um, thanks for everyone for listening. I'm joined by Brian. Can you say hi, Brian? Hi, everyone. Vic? Good day wherever you are in the good. world because we're available everywhere. <laughs> good, day. Yeah. Good, good, good day indeed. We just finished watching it at the UP at the game to watch uh, to end the first round. So, good day nga ba? Or lose to Sayadon? Depends who you ask. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for a forfeit. <laughs> Both teams. Ako, so, sabi ka, diba? 24, 24 overtime sa ano? Sa yeah, diba? Just so, lang ng 23. In a broad <laughs> so, end. basketball, may draw, dapat draw sana. <laughs> Go, <laughs> and 24 red, 20, um, 24 red cards. <laughs> Eat, mm, suspended <laughs> lahat. Uh, suspended uh, lahat. Next, the, uh, ano, uh, lahat suspended, pero sa game lang natin mag-take effect. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, so thank you for. I just want to thank our listeners for joining us throughout the entire first round for our discussions on LaSalle basketball and other LaSalle sports. Thank our listeners for sending in their comments and questions. We want to give a voice to LaSalle fans through this podcast. So continue, continue sending in those comments and questions. Oh, uh, Vic and Brad, I'd like to give a special shout out to our um, courtside reporter. She dropped us a nice note uh, last week saying she would listen to the show. I guess we'd like to say uh, good job as well, Patrice Dabao, for, um, for your work as a courtside reporter. Vic, Brian, hindi, hindi madali yung trabaho niya. Imagine that. Courtside reporter ka na ng Lasal. Courtside reporter ka pa ng Pilipinas Live. Oh. <laughs> hindi, 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 hindi madali yung, yung spiel na yun, ha? Yung, oh, you, should, you should be available yeah. everywhere. should be everywhere. available It's everywhere. To Filipinos worldwide. Oh, <laughs> the Filipinas. Hindi, hindi madali. <laughs> hindi madali yun. I guess Wait, that, I bet si Patrice ang natulog yun after a long day cover niya sa natulog yun sa panaginip oh. niya Pilipinas Live <laughs> Pilipinas Live Pilipinas Live Available and, uh, no, and, Available uh, yes parang yeah. parang para yung podcast lang natin Available oh. to all eh. Lasallians around the world oh, Actually well, diba? kahit mga taga atin ngayon mga taga UP di ba? It's available oh. to them <laughs> then. <laughs> oh, well, it depends if they want to listen or not. Wala na sila doon. Mystery. So, hello, uh, shout out kay Patrice. Uh, and they actually, uh, una, nakakatawa na meron pala nakikinig sa atin. Joke lang. <laughs> oh, akala, ko, akala ko yung place natin, tayo-tayo lang yun. Tapos paulit-ulit. Oo, oh, paulit-ulit lang. Mamagulan natin. Diba? Yung 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 Pakilook nga sa Spotify. Thank you. Oh. Uh, yeah, and we appreciate um, we not just our input, we that's why we appreciate all the comments and questions. Yeah, and, uh, all and that's and all that's we're, that's we're that's out from you guys. Right. And we'll be okay. reading your your comments and questions about the first round, your thoughts later on in the show. All right, mm. so let's get started, guys, on our discussion. Uh-huh. Okay, uh-huh. all right. So, first question, guys, is LaSalle ends the first round, we said, at a four and three slate. All right, coming, how would you guys feel? Will uh, Ateneus win earlier? Other schools win earlier. That puts us in the fourth slot, the final four. We probably face off against NU. Uh, at the time of speaking right now, the schedule is out yet, but probably NU, the 2 4. How do you guys feel now with that, with our current 4 and 3 record? Is that where you want to be in terms of the first round? Uh, yan na yung baraham binigay sa atin. Eh. So that's where we are. So we have to play on with it. Uh, pero yun nga, yung 4 and 3 natin, yung tatlong talo natin we could have been easily 7 and 0 eh, pag tinignan mo kasi um ateneo game we collapse in the end against nu we also collapse in the end and even against up uh even if that uh, horrendous 21 3 third quarter we will still very much on the tick of the fight until the final buzzer so yun um easily dapat 7-0 tayo nung first round but then yun nga yan yung barahan binigay na sa atin going going into the second round uh yun we ako personally i expect adjustments to happen uh learning from those mistakes that we did in the first round so exciting ang um, sa akin mas exciting ang second round actually kasi nakita mo na lahat yung kayang gawin ng kalaban mo eh. so more or less you know what 
may ang dami mo ng oh, adjustments man. in mind na you want to implement, gusto mong gawin, gusto mo i-try and experiment. Uh, ayun, so talagang ano yan siya, uh, mas exciting. Pati yung character ng teams may kita mo na dito, especially if you really want to make a hard push for a final four slot or medyo makikita mo na rin dito na, ah, sige, let's just use this as experience going into the next season. Lahat yan, lahat yan lalabas na sa second round uh, games natin. Oh, it's really a game of adjustments, diba? And, and Kurt on UAP second round, dyan yung peaking eh, as they say, diba? Correct, mm, oo. Correct, oo. Peaking back, no? Dyan mo na rin makikita kung hanggang saan ba talaga yung kayang ibuga ng team mo. Yan, yan, yan eh. Just, uh, everything comes to play sa second round. Yeah. Ikaw, ikaw, Brian, how do you feel? You know, like Vic said, winnable games yun eh. Yung sa NU, at ano yun, UP, those games, we all had a chance to win those games. So, mas, mas nahihinayang ka ba? Or, or sayang ka ba? What, 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 or is it more of, okay, this team has potential, this team has promised to make a run that second, the second round? I think naturally, syempre, after the game, fresh, uh, mahihinayang ka eh, kasi all of those moments, we were there. We were in front. We, what if, we diba? <laughs> Oo, parang, uh, but at the same time, I guess, it would be nice nga na 7-0 sana tayo. But it also takes some pressure off our back. Kasi imagine if mag-7-0 ka. Every, ano, you have a big target on your back in, to the second round. So, and also, yun nga, parang baka ma-paper over the cracks din yung mga issues na kailangan pa isolve. So, I guess, it's ugly na zero out of three tayo against teams na probably would see in the final four should we get yeah, there of point. course good point but good point. but yeah. yeah no siguro yun nga uh, this is where the adjustments will come from and maybe uh, if I think naman I can speak for most Lasallians uh, we still have we, we still are yet to see yung best nung team na to so Hopefully nga, we get that picking at the right time. And sabi nga nila sa Filipino parlance nowadays, ipakita natin kung sino tayo. <laughs> yeah, and I guess what's I guess what, what's disappointing, like coming from a team where we were one of the favorite teams during the preseason, we go, we were expecting probably 6-1, and 5-2, around that range. Now at 4-3, and three, what, what's difficult now is that margin for error to get that twice to beat advantage becomes really, really slim. So that, I think that's the most difficult part, um, trying to having them to make up those games in that second round. That's a challenge this team has to face. Because imagine and you had one loss, you have to catch up to that catch it up in the second round. And I think this team shouldn't just be vying for a final four slot. I think it should be vying for really the twice to beat advantage, and that's really crucial come come final four time. With the likes of Ateneo and UP and NU making a run now. Then sa so, sinabi ni Brian kanina na uh, we weren't able to beat. The, uh, the top three teams. Kasi tama naman, di ba? Yung top three teams yung hindi natin natalo oh, first round. Oh, style then, number four. Yeah. Uh, and then, so, sa, syempre, madami mag-sabi na, ay, mga tinaro naman natin, yung mga teams sa dapat, where, in fact, dapat naman talaga na we should be beating. Kasi just imagine the reaction of the community, for example, kung pati yung mga teams sa dapat mong tinatalo, eh, hindi mo pa natalo, di ba? I mean, Losing to the top three, and dami na nga reactions ng mga tao. What if if we if we lost to the teams na dapat nating talunin? So hindi hindi siya dapat maging parang I just I just don't like the reaction na ay dapat kasi natalo natin yung mga yan. Yung mga type ng ganong reactions. I mean, it's uh, he, don't don't over. Parang sa akin don't overreact kasi it's it's. Just be happy that we beat those teams. Kasi, just imagine kung natalo tayo nun, baka mas lalong uminit yung ulo ninyong lahat, di ba? Parang, it's just, it's just, hindi lang, we we needed those wins if we want to make a push and we wanted to go elsewhere. Especially lahat are targeting a tama ka kicks, hindi lang twice to beat eh. Kasi lahat, medyo mahirap pag dekalibre yung team na kailangan mong talunin ng dalawang beses sa Final Four. So, al- alam mo yon hindi lang talaga simpleng makapasok ka ng Final Four. Eh. Ang aim mo talaga is to get that uh, top four spot. And uh, we are two games behind uh, with both UP and NU na 6-1 at the moment. 
Oh, nga, yun yung kailangan talaga habulin the second round. And I guess the question in the second round for this team is really, can they overcome and beat those contending teams? Given na nga, yeah, like you said, um, par for the course na yung beating those, small, it's beating those smaller teams, or those teams lower in the ranks, is par for the course. Now can we step up and beat those those contending teams? Um, okay, so I I think you gave a, like a next to our next point, Vic. It's really about talking about expectations of the community, about the LaSalle community. There, I guess there are two camps right now. First is, we're a loaded team. We have lots of veterans, KQ, Nele, all these players. But at the same time, it's Coach Topex first year in charge. First year, you're given more leeway usually, like my honeymoon stage pen, as they call. But at the same time, here, the other side of things is we are also in, despite being first year, it's also in win-now mode. Okay? So where do you where do you guys see that? The two First thing means that is it Topex in win now no given the talent, or he has to be given more leeway given it's his first year of coaching um, in the UAP with this team, Brian? Yeah, uh, like what I said in the previous episodes. Personally, I I would want him that ano uh, luxury of given more time. Uh, yes, I think bare minimum naman yung making it to the final four, and I think us making it to the final four itself lang is not going to be a point of satisfaction to our fan base. When the top two is the goal, I think Gio mentioned that uh, earlier in the season. And I, I think I agree with that as well. But I win. Uh, may marching orders no win now. We have the talent to actually to win now. And I see where some of our fans would come from. That's eh. uh, We would like to see continuity. We would like to see uh, players growing into a, a particular system. Um, I think... Uh, ho- a hopeful worst case scenario for me is we might fall short of the top two, pero we take away a lot from this year and pass it over to the core upcoming core. Uh, I think... I, 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 you're talking about mm-hmm. uh, Brian about the win now is that because that's the key from Coach Topek himself from that function mm-hmm. they had with Enrique Arizon, right? Yeah, Where yeah, exactly. Super which... boss with a team like Lasalle, yeah. Yeah, which ironically came on the day of the press conference, right? So <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. I I mean, it's hard to imagine his position. Na you have this time pasana, but then you're put under the spotlight right away. Uh, it's it's not it's not for everyone in position na yun, and I'm I'm t- tipping my hat to him for uh, taking on this challenge. Um, yeah, uh, he knows what's at stake. I think. Uh, but if don't he you think it's the... fair to criticize Topex? That's when we hire the coach for this position, for this, for this LaSalle basketball position, is it unfair to ask him that, he, both as a coach, yes, you're expected to win now and at the same time develop a program long term. Aren't, aren't they not mutually exclusive? Can't we ask for both? I, I think, the, I know, as in Kaya naman siya, uh, it deliver. But, yun, uh, maybe, let's say, there's a margin of error lang na if you don't win, then at least be given a second chance to develop your program. I mean, syempre, kaya naman. Uh, we, we are here nga, like what we said, uh, we're just possessions away from winning the, the games we lost, having one possession away from winning those games. Yeah, so, yeah, it involves yeah, yeah. the execution to go to and something like oh, that. I, yeah, I think it's, you can criticize the team for falling short because yeah, we do have the talent challenge for the, for the title, right? but at the same time, if to keep in mind those long-term program mm-hmm. here so i think you can actually do both yeah how about, how about you vic what are your thoughts on these two expectations whether it's are we on a win now mode or your top access to be time to give in that program build this program ayan medyo mag backtrack tayo ni ng history in context ang ano kasi dito ayan pa- we yeah, were past. we were spoiled <laughs> we were spoiled in lasal na na first year head coaches winning with loaded rosters Una, 98, pasok si Coach Franz with a loaded roster. We won a championship. We removed coming the stigma from, of the past five years. Coming, uh, yes, <laughs> coming from, coming from, uh, from 94 to 97, na laging malakas yung lineup, falling short with on, under two head coaches, Coach Virgil and Coach Jong. Coach Franz comes in in 98 with a loaded roster, wins it right away. Fast forward, 2016. Loaded roster, Coach Aldin comes in, um, uh, implementing the mayhem system, lakas ng lineup mo, ended up 13-1, and winning the championship right away. So, yan ang 
isang, di ko alam, may problema ba or dilemma na meron tayo kasi nasanay tayo sa ganun. Nasanay tayo na loaded roster, pasok yung coach, you get instant results. Kasi kay Coach Franz din, 98, we finished what? 12 and 2 yata din tayo or 13 and 1. Mm -hmm. uh, or 98. I think we lost to just we we just lost the UST kung tama yung memory ko. Yun yung yun yung dilemma natin. So there's this So it's really to, to answer your question kicks combination of both. You have to win now and then develop a program. Oh nga and, and it's yun yung ano, that, that's the I, that, that that's the challenge. Pero para sa akin, pwede naman siyang pwede ka naman I wanted to be honest. Pwede namang ano eh. Ako actually willing to wait ako na mag-develop ka talaga. Kasi right now, ang landscape, ang landscape ngayon ng UAAP, lahat ng teams gumagastos. Lahat ng teams, they can form competitive lineups. Iyang, uh, iyang ano, UST, I, lo I look at them as a sleeping giant for now. Kasi you won't see them. No? Next diba? year. Hindi na ganun kadali talaga manalo eh with all teams comparing it to 98 and to 2016 magkaibang landscape na ng basketball it's it's a uh, difficult more challenging sa UAAP with all these teams na nagre-recruit with good coaches with uh, backers with financial backers di na ganun kadali eh. so ako I, I'm more on the side of getting patient, building a program, rather than win now. If it if we win now, yun nga lang, kasi sa atin, we have five, five graduating players na which one, ang, ang isang crucial mo, si Evan. So, syempre, you wanted to leave na mag-champion na si Evan, di ba? And the, and the rest of the graduating seniors. But, alam mo yun, kung ibigay yun, okay. Kung hindi, let's try and build the program. Yun yung ano ko doon. Andun ako sa side na yun kasi yun nga eh. I understand na at this point in time, hindi na madali manalo talaga eh. Lahat nagre-recruit. Lahat may panggastos na. So, it's not it's not easy. It's, it's ano, sa so, uh, to surmise, parang maganda na we can hit two birds with one stone. No? Yeah, pero least, correct. Pero at least, if we miss one, there's always one bird dapat na matamat. Hmm, andun pa rin. Kasi mas ano ka dapat, mas, naka, mas nakatingin ka dapat sa long term eh. ba? Diba? I mean, if you can hit twice, uh, winning now and then having a good program moving forward, it's it's uh, it's nice. It's very nice. Pero mas, mas nakatingin ka dapat sa long term. Kasi ang hirap nung ano talaga, hindi pwede yung uh, paulit-ulit ko tong sinasabi whenever I have the chance to join you guys sa recording. Hindi solution yung nagpapalit ka ng coach every year. It's Obviously not good. Not. Dadating, it, does arm, eh, no? it does more harm, no? Dadating sa point yan na wala ng head coach na pupunta sa atin. Ah. Kung, 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 kung ganyan lagi yung palakad natin, dadating yung point wala ng head coach na gusto mag-coach sa atin. Pati Kunyari, players, eh. Pati players. Diba? Parang, ah? Pumunta sa'yo. Ah, si Lasal, kinukuha ko. Hindi, ayoko dyan. Kasi dyan, pagka nagkamali ka ng one year, si Baka na eh. Hmm. Alam mo yun? Uh, we, we, we will reach that point if if ganyan lagi yung mentality natin. Walang mangyayari sa atin. I have a question, Vic. In, in that situation, what do you think? Is there a line that, a certain line that they can't, that they have to cross in order to say, kahit one year pa lang, matanggal na? Is there a situation that falls, that makes it that bad? I think, I think if we are losing really bad, ako yun yung, yun yung, if we are, if we are losing really bad, like example, tatambakan ka. With that, with the kind of, uh, with the kind of materials that we have, siguro pag bad game talaga yung mga talo mo. Tipong one, or one, six, or one and six or two and five tayo second round. Ganun, one and six or two and five. Pero oh, with ano, one, six, two, one, six or two, five na pangit talaga yung laro. Mga tayong lost. Oo, oh, correct. <laughs> pa, baka, baka, baka. Pero hindi ko rin alam eh. Kasi... It, it depends on happening inside eh. Case oh, to case, ganyan it, eh. Oo, oo, oo. There could be a reason correct, for correct. it. Yeah. May other reasons na you can't, you can't discuss publicly. Baka may ganong aspect na yan siguro for, for, the, for us to change 
head head coaches after one year kahit mangyari yung 1625 na scenario na pinag-uusapan natin dito probably there are, there are things other than basketball that's happening uh, in the back end pero yun siguro pag kawan ko yun lang nakita ko eh siguro pag ganun na 1625 tas tambak lahat ng mga talo natin with the type of players that uh, we have baka baka mangyari yun i don't know We're not saying the meron. We're just saying scenarios. <laughs> oh, oh, correct, correct, correct. <laughs> correct, baka. <laughs> oh, oy, baka mamaya may masabi. Uy, sabi sa Quiver, may nangyayari daw sa ano, wala, wala. Oh, sabi ng isang listener, tatong listener natin. Speculative. Oh, yeah, speculative lang. <laughs> oh, oh, ano lang, we're just, we are just laying out scenarios na, yun nga, uh, ano yung, what what will it take to uh, change, for example, change topics after one year. Pero, I, I don't, I don't, Right now, I don't see it happening. Yeah, the signs are in there, but I guess it's it, going back to the to, to, to the original discussion. It's really a matter that yes, you can still criticize the coaching staff for the but they, they're not 100 unaccountable for what's happening. You can criticize what they're doing this year that the proven thing to go, but at the same time, when you have that bigger picture view, right? Long term college program, parento, de ba? That's 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 what's crucial there. So I guess now we can go into a bit of the more of the. It's- Sorry, yes. just to uh, final thoughts yeah. before, we, before we go. Actually, to be honest, yung uh, normal ngayon sa coaching na three year, three years, di ba? Pag nagsasign yeah. yung mga... I don't even think three years is enough eh. Kasi hindi yun cycle eh. Kasi papasok ka, most of the players there, hindi mo recruits yun eh. Then mag oh, yeah. ka pa lang mag-recruit eh. So dapat talaga five years eh. If you really want to... If you're hiring a coach for the program, five years dapat. Kasi that's the one, full cycle already. One cycle. Na, diba na nakapag-recruit ka, na, 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 di, kasi, kasi normally, when you recruit first year, di, uh, bibihira yung may impact naman talaga eh. Normally, when you recruit first year, sec, yung third year mo talaga na ma-maximize yung player eh. Third year mo in-expect na yung player gagaling eh. So, alam mo yun, pagka nagano ka na When, when you ano, when you build your pool of players, when you start a program, dun yun talaga, eh, third year, fourth year, fifth year talaga yan puputok. Yeah. And, but to, and, and to add to that, Vic, although you're right, it's, you know, five years, you know, kailangan, you know, what you need to discuss here is that it's not a blanket for five years. Okay, four five years to get something done. I think there has Correct, be, correct. There has to be Dapat merong progress, merong progress. Every, yeah. guys every year. Yes, no, correct, correct. Yeah. But correct, it, correct, it, correct. Kasi hindi para, naman pwedeng five years, puro ka 0-14, di ba? So, it's not, it's not, uh, ibig sabihin, you're not doing your job then, di ba? So, yeah, yun yung ano. Tama na, naman, agree, agree, it, agree. It has to come to that management to say, or you might have to say that, okay, we're not reaching where we want to be here. It might be better off bringing someone new. And correct, it's doing correct, the best correct, we can correct. decide. So those those things happen. So yeah, it, we, we, it, it, it's wrong to say that let's give him four years, give him five years. We have to look at each individual year as, as growth years, diba? I think we need to make sure that we're assessing a program. Correct, so, correct, right. correct. Okay. All right. So that's a talk about expectations for the team, how the community sees it. Now let's go to another discussion point of how one of the biggest talking points, Vic and Bry, is really the rotations People have been talking about, are we maximizing the players that we have? We have a deep lineup. Um, everyone can contribute, as we've seen in the previous games. Anyone can step up at any time. Are we maximizing our rotations, our players, the best way? Brian? Ah, uh, it's a good discussion, young rotations. I think um, there, are, there are certain situations, especially against uh, the top teams that we lost to, that maybe we relied on familiar faces. Uh, just to see what they can do and such. But now, having played the seven games, you know already who has the guts, who has the skill, who has the matchup uh, advantage uh, on certain teams. And I, uh, to answer that question, we haven't fully maximized it because if we did, then maybe we could have at least taken one of the three losses. We could have made that a win. Uh, but then, yeah, that's when you learn the mind. So, all is not lost for us. Uh, we have the second round to make sure that we reflect uh, on what we learn. 
So I, I think you're you're playing nice, Brian. You know? um, I always try to play nice. <laughs> yeah, if it's not clear, uh, just check the stats <laughs> from last game, no? Uh, <laughs> since I have a cutting buff, I have, a, I have an ocean buffer here now, protection. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe we will be somewhere, right? It's hard. <laughs> I, I, I guess what's about is it's really some of the veterans like um uh see si Escandor and those are in top two. They 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 had their minutes cut down during when we made that comeback against um against UE right, and that's what people are saying. Let's give the minutes to the younger guys. La, well, I mean, I didn't play much, but um the other players, yeah, si Pola, 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 Pola. yeah, maybe these guys can contribute, and I guess because. My stigma is them at Escandor. There were always questions of why is he, why is he on the roster? Si Manuel has have, well he he'd be hot and cold. He'd have some um some odd or head scratching moments. I guess they have that certain baggage with him. Uh, how do you see that Vic that um those rotational pieces as they come along and how the coaching staff should adjust to them come the second round? Uh, ano eh. Uh, actually, napaganda yung uh, discussion natin sa rotation dahil sa nangyari kagabi. In all honesty. Kasi dun na, uh, nakita talaga kagabi na, alam mo yun, na, oy, we use an entirely different rotation in the second half and it worked. And it worked one oh, third for us, di ba? And that's the, that's the reason why, uh, yun nga, nabanggit ko rin naman sa inyo sa GC. That's, That's the reason why we recruit players. Kasi college to eh. It's, uh, it's still, players are not mature. You don't expect them to be consistent every single time. Kasi college, nagde-develop ka pa nito eh. Hindi ka pa pro level na uh, expect mo 2010 ka every night eh. Kasi pro ka na eh. But on this level, sa amateur, quote-unquote amateur, sorry ah. <laughs> quote-unquote amateur na yun, no? Quote-unquote amateur. Allowance okay. lang. Allowance lang. Allowance lang. Allowance lang. Allowance lang, sir. Ayun. So, <laughs> ano, yung, hindi pa ganun ka mature yung, ano pa, hindi pa ganun ka, ano, hindi mo pa pwedeng i-expect sa tao na, oh, kailangan 2010 ka every ano. Although, although, tin, ah, kung baka tinuturuan mo sila kung paano yung habits na yun na dadalhin nila when they go to the pros eh. So, that's why you you recruit a 10-man deep lineup, 12 deep lineup, para alam mo yun na in case na talagang awala, hindi talaga gumagana tong player na to for this game. Madami kang, madami kang huhugutin sa bench, di ba? Hindi ka, hindi ka paralyzed, hindi, hindi siya maiging detrimental na Ah, kasi talo kami. Kasi pangit talaga yung laro ng ganitong player. Wala akong magawa. Alam mo yun, that, to avoid that, talaga mag, 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 ano ka na you need to prepare na may 10 players ka that can really help you win games in the end. How does that affect moving second round? So yan yung magandang tanong. So we'll see. We'll see if we have a game on Wednesday. Uh, we, we, we'll, we'll see on Wednesday. ba diba? kung meron na tayong game. Doon okay. natin makikita. Kasi uh, ang ano ko pa rin dyan, Game to game basis pa din yan eh. Sino yung match up mo? Sino yung sino yung players na best na makaka-match up with the key players of the other team? Factor pa din in play yan eh. So, right. alam mo yon, uh, doon ka pa rin magdedepende talaga kung ano yung magiging um, rotation mo. Eh. Although may set ka in mind, pero alam mo yon, uh, depende sa makakalaban mo pa rin at uh, uh, titignan mo pa rin yan kung sino ba yung kailangan kung, like, for example, yesterday, si Michael was, uh, we saw Michael limited playing time second half. But it 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 doesn't mean that you will see those minutes with Michael for the next seven games. Probably not. Uh, depende pa rin sa game uh, situation, sino bang kalaban natin, o baka si Michael kailangan bigyan ng ganitong minutes pa rin. Or si Raven kailangan bigyan pa din ng ganit. It it depends on what the players can or cannot do dun sa system that you implement. Yun yung making uh, sa akin primary con- consideration sa rotations mo come second round. O, on, on Michael Phillips, mag, mag-jump in na lang, Hobie, kasi minasin siya ko ng former boss ko. <laughs> so, <laughs> pwede pansinin. <laughs> so, si, uh, boss, si, si Eric, then, ayan, he knows his basketball. And he said, one of the biggest concerns, oh, shout out kay boss Eric, one of the biggest concerns that we have 
because he doesn't see the same amount of production from Michael Phillips this year. And sabi he just want to miss his pieces. What do you think that's happening? That he isn't as efficient or as sorry, as productive as last year. Is it a system of two picks? Or how do you see it? Uh, sa akin, combination of probably both. Kasi syempre, iba yung, iba yung system ngayon ni Coach Topex. You see Michael throwing up trees na eh, di ba? <laughs> Dati na hindi natin nakikita kay Manong, di ba? So that's one. And I think siguro yung ano din, added, added things on your arsenal, di ba? Parang uh, dapat mas marami ka ng kayang, kayang gawin. Eh. For example, face up na pwede mong atakihin yung bantay mo or low post moves or something like that. So right now, uh, yung dalawa talaga ang pwede ko i-attribute why we're not seeing the same uh, production this early. Yung adjustment niya sa system ni Coach Topex saka yung, kasi pag new system, kailangan mo rin i-assess yung sarili mo eh. Um, ano ba yung skills na meron ako para mag-drive ako sa ganitong system? That's one. Yeah. Diba? So I think that's what, yun yung kailangan siguro. It works both ways. Dapat iano ni, to, ni Coach Topex yes, and si Michael correct. should talk about it. Diba? Yeah, I can't imagine other player in the UAP doing what Michael Phillips does. That analysis, the combination of analysis, right? High diba? speed. So I, 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 I'm just really hoping that maybe Topex second round can... Well, I noticed that when he's, when he's posting up, on his own doing one on one. Hirap siya. Hindi pa siyang develop mo po. Correct, eh. correct. Hindi so, siya talaga think... hindi mo siya pwedeng ilagay into a situations where he can isolate kasi dapat off the movement pag exactly. catch niya dire diretso na siya eh, coming off like, a screen uh, then uh, back cut down the baseline. Diba? Shout Do out to my iyan ko lang shout out ko lang to my head coach kay Coach Cholo. So, ang 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 ano niya sa akin, sa akin was si Michael is fit for roller sa pick and roll, di ba? Na yes. Like 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 uh, we've seen last year, di ba, against UP, pag roll niya, pinasaan siya, dere-derecho, dunk, dunk na siya sa harap ni Lucero, I think, di ba? Tapos yung mga, uh, binanggit ko rin to ka, uh, last uh, recording when we did the game recap against UE na bagay siya yung off the loop. Yung for example, a-atakay, go si go to the opposite side, mag-help dun sa attacker drop pass, dunk or layup, 'di ba? Mga mga tipong ganun. 'Yun yung 'yun yung meron siya right now. But then, 'yun nga, still dapat nilang pag-usapan pa rin ni Coach Topex if those skills, yung current skills ba niya ngayon magfi-fit sa kung ano yung system na gustong implement ni Coach Topex or he needs to add uh he needs to add something para mag-fit siya dun sa ano, sistema ni Coach Topex. Oh, nga. So, I think there are two things that I, I well, personally, I want to see from Coach Topex in the next round. First is really, and I guess this is where coming from, is I want to see, I wanted a merit-based system where we were giving playing time to some veterans that weren't playing well. The advantage of a deep lineup is you get to push each other. You can get comp- competition in practice, pushes each other Agreed. like a better team. Agreed. So, you should earn, the, earn those minutes. They shouldn't just be awarded. So, if, so, oh, if, yeah. if Ravens is yeah, playing well, Ganon. Okay, practices right. should be hard eh. Tama yan. Kasi ang lalim nyo eh. So, bugbugan, bugbugan, patayan kayo sa ensaya niyan to get those roster minutes. Agree ako right. din. And second, so, really... dapat, ano, parang no one should be confident na they'll get a certain amount of minutes. Correct. You have to earn those minutes. Agree. Like, Agree. Earn, oh, earn, earn, mo- earn those minutes on the floor last time. Right? Diba? No. And then second, I want to see the more fluidity on on our offense. It seems like there will be chat times we would despite everything we would settle for a three or contested three or for a pull up where I, it, it ends up in individual plays eh? no, or more than uh, a flow within a system or within a team and we're settling that too much and I think that's really hampering our offense I think we look honestly look better in transition when we get those points uh, Brian are there any concerns on the offense for you um, seeing our games in the first round oh, I'm just looking at um, maybe it's it's fair to magnify yung moments against the the big teams, those we lost to. Ah, uh, yung a new game feeling ko, for me, yun yung pinakasayang kasi we really had that in the back, uh, out of all the three losses. And maybe the the concern there is we, our offense got lost in the overtime. Uh, I was feeling confident pa nga no overtime nun eh, kasi sabi ko, we had the momentum, we caught, we caught with them, di ba? So, to force overtime. I mean, they shot the three-point shot to force it to OT, pero we were chasing them before that. 
Um, so yun, parang may moments na pag nawala tayo, we really look badly lost. And against top teams, you cannot afford that because they will punish you. I mean, let's say against UST Adamson, to be fair. Uh, that, when we got lost, diba, parang mal- may malakas tayo. That 23-0 run against UB was the perfect demonstration of that. Uh, we mm-hmm. couldn't produce anything on the offensive exactly. end. Exactly. And yeah. parang ano, uh, it, it looked that uh, so often, siguro, main concern ko from my observations is we are rushing some of our shots. It's not yeah. just uh, no, uh, choosing what, what kind of shot, but even if lamang ka ng 9, 7, 5, ganyan, parang you're playing to the pace of your opponents. Eh. Kasi syempre sila, mamadiliin nila. They want to generate as many possessions as possible. You have to control the game, right? Yeah, yeah ito, yeah. parang we, we ride with that rather than try to do or try to hold the pace. I mean, we can still quick it. Parang okay sa akin magmadali if there's a wide open look. Pero if you're contested and or you are bothered, you can set up your offense. Parang that's counterproductive and you're playing to your opponent's uh, hands. Maybe something that we can examine as a unit. And I mean, sala, more on sala. And hopefully we see, as spe- from a spectator point of view, we see progress. Good game nga if confirmed. Itong NU, we still haven't seen if confirmed siya. Pero uh, if the pattern is correct. If it right. NU, How about you, Vic? How do you see them? And the are you no, uh, at the at the end of the elim sang unang naging glaring sa akin yung uh, three point shooting percentage natin. It's it's really low, and we are we're number one in the league, I think, right now in three point attempts. Uh, three point attempts, and our percentage not good. So yun yung tingin ko kailangan natin improve. Uh, a lot of challenge trees. Yeah. So, yun yung kasi naging ano siya, minsan naging ano detrimental then for us na those challenge trees most of the time mintis yun eh. So, if we can if we can uh, naka 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 spread offense naman tayo eh. So, I think we can look to attack more and find a more uh open look para at least we can bring down those uh we can bring down those con- uh, contested trees and get better looks from the outside. Ako yun yung ano ko. We better three-point shooting or free-throw shooting pick? Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> wala ano eh. Wala ka na magagawa. Ako, personally, wala ka magagawa. So, it, it, uh, free throws are all mental for me. Para sa yeah, we, 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 we made a lot during the UE game. We made most of our, most of our free throws. Oh, yeah. It's all, yeah, that's it's a perfect all, example. 23 it's all 29. 29, oh. diba? It's all it's all mental for me the free throw. So wala na tayo. So I I'd, uh, I'd rather focus on yung uh field yung three point field goal shooting percentage natin. Na mukha so, na we have yung... the license to take naman no yung three points parang Oh, 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 oh kasi lahat ng players ngayon uh, kahit nung preseason naman eh, diba? Nakita naman natin. Lahat sila may license to shoot from the outside. It's just yes. that we need to find a way to get more open looks rather than taking contested trees. Kasi yun nga, evidence sa stats, uh, numbers don't lie, na yun nga, ang dami nating binabatong tres, but we have a low percentage. Yeah, it's the kind of trees we're taking, so it's contested trees. Eh. Correct, we are in correct. the system, union side. So if they get to solve that, get to create open trees for the team. Malaking bagay, malaking bagay, malaking bagay, yep. On, on free throws, I'm not sure what we can do about it. It's mental. How about we can file a petition kay FIBA na may option na may inbound lang ng team pang final. It will help our chances more. <laughs> Wala lang penalty. Walang penalty. Walang penalty. penalty. Wala penalty. <laughs> inbound. Ganyan yun eh. Labas sa, sa mga PE. Sa mga free throw? Oh, hindi. Inbound na lang kami rin. Inbound. Labas. Out, out. Labas, labas, diba? Ganyan yun, diba? Okay, okay <laughs> yung ano, yung parang dapat ano gawin nating practice. Pagka second free throw, nakaabang na agad lahat. Sure rebound, dapat. Oh, sure <laughs> rebound, dapat. Oh, sure rebound, dapat. We will have, have had this problem for the longest time. Pag second oh, free throw, naman! Oh. Sumusigaw, sumusigaw na lahat. Box out, box out. Alam mo siya. <laughs> <laughs> Panahon pa ni Coach Franz, problema na natin free throws, eh. I mean, uh, partida, we won a four-peat with free throw problems. Diba? Diba? Mm-hmm. Imagine. We we won a four feet with free throw problem. Oh, diba, diba yung three point shot ni Dino Aldegar din yung score yung free throw. Yep. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, kaya nag overtime kasi sabi niya. Kasi uh, ano eh, habang habang tinitira niya yung free throw sa nasa isip na raw niya yung trip to US eh, kaya kaya na-miss niya yung. 5 minutes tuloy eh. 
Oo, oh, kaya <laughs> nag-extra naman. Nung nung champ, nung champ tayo ng 4 feet. Pag-i-demis ng free roll, nandun si Don Aliado para i-rebound. <laughs> Ayun, oh, no. so, <laughs> oh, although, ano, may isang play nung UP game, if I'm not mistaken, yung free throw miss ni Mark Nonebe, tapos put back dunk ni Mike Phillips. Parang alam na niya eh. Oo, oh, diba? Ayun, <laughs> dapat gano'n ka na eh. Mag, maybe that's the, maybe that's uh, the plan all along. <laughs> oh, eh. Reverse let's, three points. Let's do a highlight play, di ba? Let's do a oh. highlight play. Con- contrary to what France two is not greater than three in this case, di ba? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, oh. one, one is greater than two. <laughs> oh, one is greater than two. <laughs> All right. So looking now, um, second round coming up. We're now at four and three. Do you guys think we have enough to make it twice to beat? Seeing the landscape, the teams where they are, Ateneo you know, seems to be peaking. UP is there and he's a strong contender, um, Brian? Uh, we should have what it takes, but of course, um, we did not put ourselves in a good position to do so. Um, oh, nice. the ball. But then, um, like what I said again from previous episodes, parang mas okay naman na tayo yung nagahabol this time. I guess the weight of the expectation would be reduced. I mean, it's always there, but now you are uh, nasanay ka na na parang people will look at you as this team na may reputation na tayo eh, apparently from what I see online um na nagcho-choke tayo so parang maybe it's a ano parang chip on our shoulders um hopefully and then yeah. do I just make that uh, prove them wrong siguro if the players can instill that mentality but at yeah. the same time not be fueled by just that parang that's an additional incentive to us We, we, yeah, have, we, we, we we've been four and three before and made that gotten the twice to beat about it. Never yeah. mind the final four, gotten twice to beat. Yeah, and we've also been four and three before, right? Yeah, three and four. Three and four. I think yeah. twenty uh, twenty thirteen. We were three and four, right? Yeah, we made the final four. Two thousand four as well. We were at three and four, right? Caution, cautionary tale lang na we were four and three then in twenty eleven. And then din na nag collapse yung team so Ay, it's not but uh, parang we have to take ano che second round talaga may, yeah pati ano yan siya uh, it really depends on how the team does we cannot really we cannot discount entirely kung baga sa sa ten lage it's that whatever the record you have in the first round ah uh, depende sa performance mo na second round it uh, anything is possible yun lang yun Yeah, yeah, what's tough is that we might have to go probably given high and that this really uh, with NUUP at Mania there we have to go six and one that'll get us to probably ten and four right and that might get us get us a, a tie break for the twice to beat so mm. it's not to, it's not totally in our hands you know Mahira I guess I'm what I'm trying to say Mm-mm. but hopefully hopefully but so that's, let's that's... just but so let's just play whatever is in front of us yun lang yun. All right now, uh, Brian. Uh, Brian will be reading out uh, our listener comments and questions. So thank you again for sending your comments and questions. Keep sending them in for our future episodes and reading out on the show. All right, take it away, Brian. Okay, so the first question is, uh, ah, no, first question. Sorry, first comment is Lasalle's uh, from Alexander Patrick Vino. Lasalle's first round loss to UE last season started their downward spiral. Hopefully, this win, the uh, last game, could lead to an uprising in the second round. Um, do you think uh results like this um have a what do you call this that ripple effect? Yeah, I think players? so. Yeah, I think so. Um, I, we saw a lot of positive signs in the second half of UE. That Dopex and the coaching staff knowing to uh, knowing how to adjust. To games, knowing what the team needs, knowing the personality in the floor to make comebacks and runs. I think it's a positive side going the second round. How about you, Vic? Uh, every game is every chance. Yun yung ano ko dyan. So, let's wait and see if uh, if that will hold true nga talaga. Kasi we, we cannot always we cannot always rely na history repeats itself. Eh. So, kumbaga iba, we have a uh, different coaching staff this year compared to last year. So, Let's kumbaga wait and see talaga. So, syempre, um, lahat tayo positive. So, but let's see what the team does. Touching on the UE game, Vic, maybe can you explain to some of our listeners, is, it, is there a reason for concern that when Topex turned over his reins to 
to his assistants in the second half. Hindi ba yun bad for him na parang, okay, ah, so kaya pa na, kaya pa na namin wala ka eh. Well, I'll explain that the, 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 the coaching dynamic to our listeners. Ah, hindi naman. I think for, sa women's basketball, hindi pa naman nangyayari yan. No? But for the men's basketball, I think, madal, mas madalas, I, I think Alfonso touch on this during our um, recording for the UE game recap, ano, na, Right now, prevalent siya. Like for Goldwyn, it's Tom Chua na mas madalas active sa sidelines. For UST, it's uh, uh, yung son ni, ni Coach Pido and si Coach Japs, Kuwa, manning over the sidelines. And even in even in Lyceum, uh, hindi na ako lalayo. For Coach Topex, in Lyceum, um, mas, may times na active si Coach Jeff Perlas that time. So, Sa akin, hindi ako nagulat that Coach Topex handed over uh, handed it over to Coach Kaloy um, uh, last night. Right now, whatever works, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Whatever works. Kung, kung yun yung dynamic na... Kasi each coaching staff may kanya-kanyang, may kanya-kanyang dynamic yan. Eh. So, for me, I have to respect that. Kung ano yung coaching, uh, coaching dynamics nila... Yung, yung... Yung pioneer gen Vic o si Anton Damantinola nung early yes. 2000s. Tawag siya ng timeout, di alam ng coach. Oo, oh, tatawag ng timeout. Yun yung malukit. Tatawag ng timeout, di alam ng coaching staff niya. Uy, sino tumawag ng timeout? Siya yung pioneer gen. <laughs> Oo, siya yung, siya yung numero uno dyan eh. But yun nga, seriously, going back, ako kasi na nakita ko na before sa Lyceum yung ganyang dynamic ni Coach Topek. So, Hindi na hindi ako ganun nagulat na rin kagabi. Well, for for the others, oh, uh, for the others medyo nagulat sila kasi kung kung hindi mo naman napapanood si Coach Topek sa Lyceum, medyo magugulat ka naman talaga. It's very it's very unusual kung hindi ka kung yun nga kung kung hindi mo napanood si Coach Topek sa Lyceum. But for me, I have no problems with that kasi kung yun yung coaching dynamics nila, you have to respect that. All right, next question, Bray. Okay, this is uh, another uh, another interesting take from AJ Agabao. Uh, this post, by the way, is from the Take Aim post. Um, we've co- we've been collaborating with Take Aim, so we have to shout out the guys from Take Aim for take aim. giving us a platform, diba? Um, so his com- his comment says, "Kayang kaya mag bounce back. We've had worse Lasalle teams who've achieved better sa final four. Magaling naman si Topex and na execute naman." sa end game lang talaga. Uh, basta may growth yung team, yun yung importante. Parang nung unang championship na na Jared, which is the 2013 one, hindi naman tayo magiling sa first round, pero there was obvious talent and evident every game yung improvement. Dito rin naman kita eh. So I guess this is coming from the UE game. Do you think naman, from, can you examine yung seven games natin? Do you think this is a team that the, the, the doesn't stall naman, no? Like you can see na may progress or do you think na nag-ano siya, parang up and down pa siya ngayon. What can you say about it? Uh, pwedeng, up, pwedeng up and down kasi kasi ano pa rin eh, um, no matter how good you are in the preseason, eh, uh, iba pa rin yung pressure pagdating mismo ng UAAP when you have the bright lights, you have the drums and whatever. Diba? And a new coach, bagong system. So, Ah, uh, pwedeng up and down, pwedeng yun nga as 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 evident no first round, we are really we are really looking at the best combinations to use kasi we have we have a we have a deep lineup, di ba? Marami kang pwedeng uh, hugutin. So we are still looking at um possible uh possible combinations that uh we can use so it probably it's the, it's a up and down pero mag, maganda lang doon you see the effort na naga adjust rather than walang adjustment at all may effort na ginagawa eh, na para mahanapan siya ng solution i i think that's that's the most important thing to me oh, correct i agree with it i think it's willing without being willing to adapt not being stubborn knowing how to tweak knowing what each game needs and I think slowly we're getting a grasp of what's the best combination out there of this team that we need to produce to get wins. So that's a promising sign for for me. Yeah, right. I would have to I would have to say that uh, I'm in the same school of thought. Siguro, ano, just to highlight what he wants to say, perhaps um, 
um, as heartbreaking as they are yung talo sa MU and UP, um, you gave yourself a chance to clinch it, whereas no Ateneo game, we were killed off na siguro in the final minute. So I guess um that's uh, a measure a slight measurement of progress pero may malalaman naman natin sa second round if you have to turn those losses to wins na. Oh, oh. I guess. So, in, in the second round there's no room for moral victories anymore. Eh? Oh, totally oh, oh, man. We're dying na yun. Yeah. Para. If not then then never na siguro. Um yeah. another if uh, kundi ngayon kailan? <laughs> Oh, if, <laughs> next, if, next not, na ulit. if not now, then Phil Oil. Yun mga yari dyan. If not now, Or ano, oh, yari sa atin. Champion na tayo dun. Eh. <laughs> if right, not bro. now, Phil Oil. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, right, bro. Next question. Ah, uh, ito. Good, uh, good observation by Aldrin SB. Uh, because the team has been saying that uh, they are enjoying, uh, they like it when they are enjoying their basketball. So he just said that play with will. Do not be afraid to lose. Ease the pressure. So this is perhaps uh, talking about the team's mental strength collectively. And I guess uh, there are some moments that Kita and uh, the pressure is getting to them. And maybe it's telling that we lost the games against the top teams because that's. I don't know. Parang nag, I would say yun yung games na playoff atmosphere talaga. Eh, from what I've observed. Uh, do you do you see the same thing, ba? Or what what else do you I see apart from that? That's a, uh, that comes with it. Every LaSalle game is a big game that comes with a mental fortitude. We have to learn to compete in those difficult situations, eh? Or else we won't get anywhere in the second round. So yeah. Siguro dapat pag naging, to do that. Yeah, pag naging LaSalle player ka, you have to I don't know, you have to internalize na you should enjoy the pressure because there's it's always gonna be there. Always, always, correct, always correct, pressure. Correct. Kasi, Parang... ano yan eh, that's uh, parcel siya of being the program that we are, di ba? Kasi, hmm. kung, kung ayaw mo ng pressure, doon kasi pang skwela. Kasi, wala kang magagawa. You have to embrace it once you once you come to Lasal, you have to embrace it. Na you are, you are expected to win championships. Hindi ka lang nandyan para maglaro at pumasok ng final four at pumasok ng finals. Uh, kung baga, you have to really there's growth, there's building a program thing, pero laging ang ano mo dyan, you have to embrace that uh, pressure. Kasi kung hindi mo yung embrace, ikaw, hindi ka makapag-deliver talaga. Yun yung making, yun yung making downfall niyan. This one from Michael Lewis Ong. Oh. They live and die by the tree. Good defense is not enough to win games. I think we touched a bit on this uh, less, uh, from Vic earlier on in this episode. Um, and it's telling that uh, we've been really shooting a lot of trees and not making them in the games we lost. So, maybe, ano lang, parang just to echo what I said earlier, um, it's either we take we take the shots eh, or not at all. So, we may be just improving the efficiency of getting looks, no? Because yeah, parang exactly. it, it looks na it's part of our game na eh. We embrace that na, I think. The players yeah, have it's it. Not- it's the kind of trees we take. Eh. Yung mga contested trees that are a bit forced. Pwede nga tayo, na mapasok ni Kiki, yung iba doon at ni, ne- ni Evan yun. Eh. Oh, yeah. actually. We need to get better quality shots. I agree. Yeah. Regardless if two or three siya, you know, I mean, it, it should be just about putting points on the board and not yeah. necessarily. Yeah. Parang may time na masyado tayong gigil and maybe trend siya kasi some teams I also observe it from them. Parang you settle for the job shots because you are given that uh, signal or you have you have that license to shoot either lamang ka or pag lamang ka to kill off the momentum ng kalaban or pag nagahabol ka syempre to inch your way back so i guess ano yeah, maybe just optimizing the way we get look ah uh, ito i think you guys would have something to say with this comment from david gomez the team is built to play around a point guard like nel but don't have a backup pg to play the same way as him also mike is still so offensively limited, it's frustrating. So there are two things to tackle there. First is Nella's backup option, uh, which we saw no what do they call this? No UP game. I think we we missed uh, that presence. And you Mike Phillips offense. Uh, you can take you can take which one to dissect first. So okay, I think first okay, Evan. Uh, Evan is what on his fifth year and how many years playing already? Um, totoo naman talaga kasi siya yung, siya yung siya yung one of your best players so 
agree naman talaga na siya yung nandyan. Baka, I think it's it's per committee at this point. Um, it's it's unfortunate that ang backup talaga natin dapat si Alaw. Eh. I mean, nakita uh, nyo naman nung preseason what more can do eh, kung andyan siya sa court playing. Uh, he has improved from his previous year. Kaya, kaya lang, unfortunately, we have to live on the fact na hindi siya naging uh, eligible all, uh, all of a sudden. So, naging backup natin. I think si Mark na, no? Si Mark, si Mark na rin yung naging de facto backup uh, point guard natin. Kaya si David ibang, Minsan. Yeah. Or si Josh, di ba? Si Josh. Yeah, si David Minsan. Yeah. Ang ano doon, kaya lang, Minsan, si Josh kasi was ta- is most of the time tasked to defend the uh, um, opposing team's best guards. Example, sample na lang, kagabi, siya yung siya and makalalag took turns on limiting si Remogat nung second half, di ba? So, yun yung ano dun. I think for the backup, probably a cause of concern this season, but uh, I think kaya naman itawid. Uh, hopefully, next season and uh, with Evan gone, we have uh, we we are able to prepare other players to uh, step in, step into the plate. Pero ngayon, yan yung ano talaga, that's that's the card that we have to play with kasi yun nga uh, hindi naging uh, eligible si Moore so we have to find uh, other players should step up and we need to find uh, alternatives uh, from that i think ano naman eh um as seen on the games this season naman eh kahit kahit naman walang backup pgs were still walang legit backup pgs were still in the fight hindi naman tayo na na wawala ng medyo malayo-malayo sa game. Uh, okay. where we still have a fighting chance naman. With regards to Michael, I think we we touch on this already din kanina, di ba? So, ganun talaga. So, it's up to, yun nga, uh, Coach Topex and Michael has to talk and um, discuss what he needs to, what he needs to improve, ano yung kailangan niya para mag-fit siya dito sa, sa, sa system ni Coach Topex. And I think, ano naman, I think Michael is a coachable kid. Mabait naman yung batang yan. And I'm sure he will he will uh, listen whatever his uh, coaches will say to him na kung ano yung kailangan niya improve. But for now, yan talaga yung ano natin. So let's see come second round how the coaching staff will be able to maximize Michael. Yeah, just to quickly add to that, yeah, see Mike, I think if our two key players now is si Evan and si Kevin. Um, those two are crucial to how far we go this season. If we get Mike involved in that conversation, involved in every game, we, I think we have a chance to really go far this season. On And just to quickly add on the Evan point, yeah, lack of a back, uh, backup point guard is concerned. Um, but we have to do it by committee. Um, so si Evan, you can't get injured. Injury, yeah. Injury, injury, injury. 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 Yeah, injury. Yeah, injury. injury. Yeah. I mean, yeah. anyone yeah. naman pwede mawala through injury. Well, well, well anytime. Diba? Diba? Basta, you'll never know who's here. So, basta ingat ka lang, Evan. Yung sinasabi namin. <laughs> Alright. Uh, from Fred Pascual, we could have been at 7-0 right now, just like what we said. The team should learn to close out games. The talent is there. It's just a matter of believing that they can win it all. Um, Do you think uh, when it when it comes to believing that they can win it all, uh, do you think that this team got affected by the pressure or what we call this, the the doubt? Because eh? sometimes it creeps into you. Do you think uh, that was evident in the games you lost to the contenders? I think any championship team has to, has that has to come not just physical challenge but mental challenges as well. So I think it's a given. Eh? Um, you really have to overcome those those doubts if you want to be a challenge. And like we said earlier, it's a solid program. It it comes with the it it. Um, it comes with the team, comes with the challenge, and so when you're a salt player, you have to overcome those things. What more to add? Actually, wala eh. Talagang, talagang ganun siya. Wala namang madaling, wala namang madaling championship for me. Kasi even if you're a strong team, I think, even if you, you win a championship convincingly in the eyes of the public, malamang may pinagdaanan kayo niyan internally for you to come to a point that you will play that really good eh. Hindi naman, hindi, hindi yan siya nangyayari overnight na Petix, for example, Petix yung coaching staff, they don't think anymore since you have a strong lineup. It's not, it's not the case. 
uh, I don't I don't believe in that na I don't believe sa ganun. So for sure ano yan talaga may may nangyayari behind the scenes to set that team up to perform at an optimal level for them to win it all uh, in the end. So talagang ganun. Wala namang madali. I mean, even in real life, walang madali. That's what you also teach in uh, college sports in general, in college team sports, or even in college individual uh, events. Walang, walang, wala kang makukuha na madali. You need to you need to sacrifice, you need to do something in order for you to win it all in the end. All right, thanks Bri for reading those questions. So everyone just keep sending your comments or questions to us and we'll read them on the show. We really appreciate the the insight you give us and we want to give a voice to the South fans everywhere all over the world, yeah, sabi ng Pilipinas live. Okay. So <laughs> th- thank you Bri, thanks Vic. So we'll see what the schedule brings. We don't know who we're playing next um, on Wednesday. If we do play on Wednesday, but we'll stay tuned. Uh, for that. Uh, next though, next though, kalaban niya na na Utah Jazz na Utah Jazz. Utah Jazz niya. <laughs> Nako Jordan Clarkson pala kalaban. <laughs> Alam na yung play ISO. <laughs> ISO, coach Ay, coaching. No, oh, iba coach ng Utah, iba coach ng Utah. Hindi nag hindi nag isolate kay Clarkson. Good point, good point. Hindi nag isolate don. <laughs> Tagal kasi yung release yung schedule, yung nakakainip eh. Oo nga, hindi ko yung short, ng compressed season with short turnaround times, not ideal for preparation. But let's hopefully we can handle the jazz on Wednesday. So let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so, so thanks. Thanks, Brian, Vic, and thanks to everyone for listening. So Thank you. Follow us on social media, on our Spotify accounts, and we'll be soon on other platforms as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, so best of luck in the second. Except, except, except platform three ports, ah, huh? platform three again. ports. Again, look at that. Mga san tayo mapunta na may punta. Pag pag three ports yung free throw natin, okay na yun, magic na yun. Uh, <laughs> all right. So thanks for, okay. for listening, and say as we always say, animal sa. Bye guys. <laughs>